it is a very special day. I am finally reading the new Emily Henry release, Funny Story. That's really, one sec. I'm just gonna do a reading vlog of just this book because I'm so excited about it and I wanna just really get into it. Spoiler free, spoiler free. Um, of course, started, as you can see, I'm two chapters in. I have this very cute little Emily Henry bookmark that I got with the book, how sweet. I could probably be pretty happy talking to no one for days on end if I had enough books around. I read two chapters and so far I am having a good time getting straight back into it. I always forget um, how good Emily's writing really is and then I'll start another book of hers and I'm like, oh, wow, okay. So silly of me to forget. First impressions, we've met Daphne, who is the main character and she is very sad because her ex-fiance just ended their relationship the night of his the morning after his bachelorette party um because his long long-term platonic best friend said that she was in love with him <laughs> isn't that enough to make you just go crazy <laughs> and she's ended up living now with that best friend's ex-boyfriend who who she obviously also left for her ex-fiance so it's like partner switch but they've got a beautiful home that she's been kicked out of and she's stuck in this like apartment with this guy who smokes a lot of weed and is really upset about his girlfriend leaving him so they've got the short end of the stick and i am just very excited to get into this i'm really really hoping at some point see those people get their just desserts but i don't know maybe it'll be um maybe it'll be the kind of thing where it's like oh they just weren't meant to be and they are they're, they're not bad people they're just but they are bad people in my opinion I'd love to just see a little bit of a little bit of karma come their way okay so our main character is also a child like child librarian is that the correct term she's a librarian mainly for the kids section i guess um she's just reading to kids and it's really precious i love when emily henry does like her bookish characters you know like a book lovers beach read kind of moment i'm having a good time i'm only 22 pages in i'm having a really good time just yesterday i tried to start another book i'm not gonna say which one but i only got 30 pages in and had to put it down because it was so bad and this is just like almost like reaffirming how what i know that that book was so bad i'm like this is quality writing i don't know what was going on there <laughs> reading mid mid sentence basically because i have things to say and i just never usually do that but it's whirling around in my brain so i want to talk um first things first the girl who's like the best friend from childhood who goes has gone off with her fiance her name's petra which is making me laugh because every time i read it i think of a petri dish and i don't know if it's funny to me so i'm getting a little bit of a giggle out of that um I'm really loving this and I'm really loving Daphne. I feel like I relate to Daphne in a lot of ways. A lot of like not fun ways. Like she's talking a lot about how, well, she said, what did she, she said at one point, like, oh, I've only really ever had a few close friends. I'm not a, I'm not the kind of person who is like friendly. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's true about me or if that's just my perception of myself because I feel awkward talking to new people but that's kind of what she's giving me she's talking a lot about like I'm not good at small talk I don't know how to make new people like me like I know that I'm a fun person to be around once you're my friend but I don't know how to get to that point and I relate to that I've always been a one-on-one -on -one friendship kind of girl close friendship kind of girl I've never really been like a 
I can just hang out with a bunch of new people or people that I don't know that well and it's like fun you know <laughs> kind of like that about myself but it's also like limiting I can acknowledge but this is really fun I'm enjoying the setting as well she's a little librarian this Miles guy um he's a he's a what is he when you work at a winery I oh, know he works at a winery fake dating we're not really got into like some any serious fake dating yet yeah i'm having a really fun time this is sparking joy about six and if you can't tell from my face i am having such a good time i've just been picking it up throughout the day i'm 128 pages in i just love it i just love it honestly this is shaping up to be top two because I would need to reread Beach Read to be able to tell you whether or not. Well, obviously this isn't done yet, so I don't know. But if it was like top two, I would have to reread Beach Read to know whether it was my favourite or not. Because it's been a while. I don't really remember the content of Beach Read. I just remember how it made me feel. So <laughs> I'm having such a good time. I love Daphne. I Daphne feels like me in so many ways but then also just like a way better version of me <laughs> such a sweet character and i just relate so much to like like just not understanding how people can be so how people so easily get along with just everyone why certain people are just like you like them immediately and then um i was a little bit nervous about what mouths was going to be like because i've heard some mixed reviews i've seen some people be like he just doesn't do it for me basically like nothing wrong with him he just doesn't do it for me me personally loving miles he is just like such a nice guy and but you can tell that there's like some sort of insecurity going on there i feel like it's probably going to be something with him like because he's just such a nice guy like he's he's described as the nicest guy friendly with everyone everybody loves him like just the nicest guy but i feel like maybe it's going to be a thing of like he's this kind of people pleaser really friendly outgoing person because like he feels like he has to be like that to like be valued oh but we don't know that we don't know that yet but that's what, what i'm getting i'm gonna go wash my face take my makeup off or i'll forget i always take my makeup off before dinner now or i forget um then go watch real housewives yes and then probably read a little bit more before bed maybe i'm not sure but i'm just really happy like honestly Emily Henry, Abby Jimenez, anybody else I can think of in this category? Ali Hazelwood, them three they're gonna hit every single time except for that one outlier friend zone by Abby Jimenez that was not good but there's just something about those three authors they're like the trinity for me of like romance adjacent comedy or like more general fiction or whatever it is that space the trifecta good morning i just put the but i just put the dust jacket back on because i was taking a thumbnail i am over halfway through as you can see now and i'm having such a good time i have no complaints um i love daphne i love miles i love the storyline that we're following i love the um x element they keep bumping into i because i just love a little bit of jealousy and like I just, I'm loving everything about this book. Like, I I am questioning whether this is going to be my favourite Emily Henry. I'm really not sure anymore. So part of me almost wants to read Beach Read after I read this. Just so I can, like, know for myself whether this is a five star. Like, I just, I just love it. I love everything about it. I understand what people were saying about not, like finding Miles to be like an amazing love interest like him just kind of being like a, you know fine but there's nothing special I'm like are we reading the same guy I love him he's so nice 
yeah absolutely having the best time and thinking I might extend this reading vlog to beach read now because I feel like I just need to know I should have done this last week because last week's weather was so beautiful it would have been really nice to like read this in the beautiful weather but to be fair I read just for the summer so I got my summer book in when the weather was nice I'm in a good mood nothing like an Emily Henry new release to just really bring the spirit It's like 20 to 6 and I have like 30 pages left of funny story. Um, I'm taking a break because that was just a lot of emotional turmoil. It was an intense reading experience. You know when you're really like zoned in on what you're reading and there's a lot happening and it's dramatic and it's just like... So yeah, I feel like I need a little bit of a break and then I'll finish it up. Um either in a bit or tonight, but I am in love with this book. <laughs> I'm in love with this book. It was so, it's not even done yet. It is so good. I really do feel like Emily, Henry just crawled into my brain and really pulled some things out and she just put it on this page and she said, look at yourself. Take a long hard look at yourself. I said Emily. Emily. That was invasive. I didn't ask for that. And she said, it's for the best. And I said, Emily, thank you. That happened. That did happen. <laughs> Happy tears. I just finished the book. Don't really have time to talk because dinner's about to be ready, but five stars okay okay people five stars okay 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 and tomorrow do you know what's happening tomorrow this is happening tomorrow because we need to do some comparing and some contrasting i'm elated good morning everybody i'm wearing the same shirt that i was wearing not yesterday but the day before so just ignore that i have started reading beach read because you know after i finished funny story i was like okay i just feel like number one i want some more of this type of writing and where else am i gonna get it than the exact same author um and i do kind of just want to see if i like funny story more than beach read to be honest because this is a five star I rated Funny Story five star and I'm like, okay, so which one is my favourite? I I just want to know. Um, I'm like four chapters in, well, on the fourth chapter, 36 pages. And to be honest, starting reading, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to like decipher which one I like better because it's just different. Like, I'm actually not going to be able to say that. So maybe the conclusion of the video will be, I don't know. That's that's kind of likely. I've never reread this book since I read it. So I'm excited to get back into it. And you know, you forget all the, you forget everything really. Like you don't, like, you remember how it makes you feel. Well, for me personally, I remember how books make me feel, but I don't remember the contents of them usually. So it's like reading a new book, but not. I don't know. I do have to say though, I think visually and like for my bookshelves, I like having paperbacks, but reading wise, I I think I prefer hard covers because I had a, a really nice reading experience reading Funny Story because it's just like a big page with not that many words on it. And it's probably a similar amount of words, but obviously it's condensed to a smaller page. I don't know. I think I just like reading hard covers more, but I like having the paperbacks more because you know it takes up less space and all that kind of stuff hello <laughs> um it is saturday my dog is drinking let me just give him a second um yeah i completely failed at filming yesterday because i was just had kind of like a busy little bit stressful day but i read I'm up to page 88 in Beach Read, so I've not read all that much. I'm just kind of getting back into it. 
I feel like the flirty kind of like you can see with you can see feelings or like attraction forming um earlier in funny story I might be wrong but I feel like maybe I read it quicker and I just felt like I got to it earlier this one has a bit more setup I feel like for like January as a character which is fine I love I love like the whole storyline like not just the romance of this one um but we're kind of starting to get into like the her relationship with Gus and like the whole like bet thing of them writing like books in each other's genres um yeah so I'm just kind of getting into it I am gonna try and read a lot today but I do have other things to do this is the problem but I will I will do my best to read and show you my reading like I said over and over it's one of my absolute favorites and I forgot so much like I I, I don't remember anything really I remember like like I said, how it makes me feel and the roughest outline of like a 30 second pitch of what this story is, but I don't really remember any of the like details. So it's like reading a new book, which I know I'm going to love, which is so fun. be mad at me it's not my fault um it's been like a day a day and a half probably since i updated um this video is taking way longer than i usually would to film a vlog but i really want to get beach read done in it i am 244 pages in so i have been reading absolutely loving this book this is just the blueprint for my ideal romance like the dynamic between gus and january like their banter but also like the way that they can like have like go from like such deep conversations to like a light-hearted like moment is just amazing the scenario like the setting of this like kind of small town beachy vibe it's just everything do i know which one i like more no i think the conclusion of the video is gonna be i refuse to pick I set myself this task of deciding what my favourite one was and I am not going to complete it because why, why, why? If there's anything I should be able to love equally, it's books. <laughs> We're at the end. What a wonderful reading week. Just Emily Henry, peace, relaxation. <sighs> I say this all the time, but very few books really just bring me peace and Emily Henry's writing brings me peace. And sometimes all I want is a bit of peace. That's the completion of this video is me deciding which book I prefer. I think if I'm being really honest with myself, There's something about this, like, I think I, I, in an isolated circumstance, I in, liked this more, but this one is, is better. It's more special. It's just got that little extra something, you know? So two five stars. It just feels wrong in my brain to put anything above Beach Read. So we're sitting like this on the totem pole. pole. This would be like equal. This is what we're saying, I think. I think that feels good in my soul. At the end of the video, I really hope you enjoyed watching, seeing the new Emily Henry's and the old Emily Henry's, both equally as good to be honest, which is amazing. Like, so many fucking good books to read. Don't be shocked if you see me rereading all of her books. Because I really do love them. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time. If you haven't read Funny Story yet, go read Funny Story. What are you doing? Um, yeah. Thanks so much. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Bye bye now.